Good morning, it's Lisa Wilson here with the Raw Food Institute and you know what I'm doing, I'm having my morning green juice and my morning wheatgrass. I have a couple announcements to make. The classes that I announced last week, the one on the 4th, green juice therapy, the one on the 9th, another green juice therapy, full, completely full. We can't fit any more people in the building. So that's the bad news, I guess, or the good news. Um, more good news though is that we're adding a third green juice therapy class and that is going to be on Sunday the 10th of April from 11 to 1. So if you didn't see that last week, you didn't have a chance to register, you missed out, you want to bring friends and family, again the other two are completely full. In fact, if you are already registered for those and you can't make it, please do let us know because we have a waiting list and we can't even fit any more people on the waiting list at this point. But Sunday, Sunday the 10th from 11 to 1, we've added another green juice. So this morning, I just want to talk briefly about the powerful benefits, the medicinal benefits of wheatgrass. I get so excited about wheatgrass because this is one of nature's finest medicines. It has the ability to stop bacteria, um, internal bacteria in its tracks. It is so medicinal and so therapeutic for cleansing the liver, for cleansing the kidneys. It's a really great blood purifier for many different blood ailments. Um, there were some studies done, some scientific studies where they were looking at animal testing, animals that were pretty low in red blood cell count. And within five days, it was able to restore the red blood cell count of these animals. So anybody who's got some anemia going on, wheatgrass would be a great thing to add to that. And if you're, you know, there are ways you can buy wheatgrass, you can buy it dehydrated, you can buy it frozen but there's no way that can compare to the fresh medicinal wheatgrass. In fact, some experts believe that it's going to take you an entire year consuming the dehydrated or the frozen um, to get the nutrients in one week of doing fresh, frozen, or fresh wheatgrass, one week compared to a whole year. So um, we're going to be juicing a lot of wheatgrass next week at the Raw Food Institute. Um, you can also, also you can chew on this. You can just grab a big bunch of it, just like some gum, and you can chew it. You can put it right in your mouth, mouth and chew it. It's very alkaline. It's going to draw poisons from the gums and from the teeth. So it can be used in many different ways. Some people use it as an implant after they've done an enema to go ahead and just make the whole colon area alkaline. Great for cleansing the colon. It can be used as a poultice. You can take some of your, you know, just a little bit ago in my kitchen, we juice this, some of the leftover pulp, get it wet with the juice, put it on your psoriasis, on your eczema, on acne. Put it on a cut, it can really help to heal any skin disorders that you've got going on. So wheatgrass is so therapeutic and so medicinal for a number of reasons. So that's your tip for today on wheatgrass. We're gonna be talking more about green juice therapy, juice feasting, juice fasting, um, giving you some of my, my recipes. So I really can't wait. We're gonna have some great classes planned for you. I'll see you in less than two weeks at the Rockwood Institute. See you there.